Hi everyone and welcome to this little session which actually I'm making specifically for my friend from India and I won't call my friend's exact name and his exact place where he lives uh, I would give him um, another name let's call him VJ and VJ from Bombay so I'm wait making this video for him because he's got some issues in his life with prosperity and abundance he's lost the job and he's got family he's got uh, nice kids uh, but he's got this issue and problem in his life that he wants to have a, a good job he, he wants to have enough uh, prosperity and abundance for his family and so there are a few things we need to look into this whole aspect and so VJ I did tell you and actually why I'm making this video public because I thought even if I'm making it for VJ it could be applicable to John or Mary or, or, or Judy or, or anyone anyone who is watching and uh, we all will have fairly similar uh, issues and why we actually have this problem because if you have watched some of the videos before about you know ideal frequency and affirmations and and thanking what you want in life yes these things are all great but when I checked one thing for VJ I found out and I actually understood that the whole issue and actually that applies to any area of our life it's more deep than we think and so I checked VJ's subconscious beliefs and so that's one of the things which is not that straightforward and that's why I, we will have a look why we need to do very very serious stuff and how we can change these beliefs so basically I didn't think initially that we really need to check what subconsciously we believe and I checked what is VJ's subconscious belief whether he believes in prosperity or whether his subconsciousness thinks that he is worthy to be prosperous and abundant and, ab and have abundance in life and interesting enough I came up with a reading that VJ has minus his subconsciousness uh, does not believe it's minus 40 so in the scale of the uh, dowsing chart it came up that his belief in prosperity is minus 40 so that means you can do a lot of things you can burn white candles and meditate and do lots of affirmations but things might not change the way you think they would change so that's why I thought I better make this little video to explain you VJ what exactly you can do and have to do if you really want to change the subconscious belief that you are actually not worthy to have uh, prosperity in life so you created it at some point yourself or it was created when you were growing up as a kid uh, maybe your family had some financial problems and anyway we, we get these programs downloaded in us in our subconsciousness and even if you think oh I have got a good job I've got good uh, education and I'm still struggling I can't get a job I lost my job and you know the thing is it's the programs which are running your life and so if you want to change where you are going and how the things are going then we need to really look into this whole aspect of how to change this program how to rewrite it and for that you know you have to really work your socks off you can't relax and if you really want to have this big change happen there's a lot of things we have to do so that's why I thought I'll make this video and we'll go point by point through what you can do and if you do these things then I'm pretty sure that you will have good success in having prosperity and abundance in your life eventually eventually it won't happen instantly but it will happen so I'll go back to I mean most of you have watched some of my videos about the principles of this energy uh, work and energy uh, stuff in life 
that everything is made of energy. Uh, if you have no prosperity and you, you, you have poverty in your life and some issues in these areas, it means that it's just it's, it's another form of energy. That's, that's all it is. And we can change this energy, but there are many, many things we would need to get grips with to get this uh, subconscious beliefs uh, changed. So Vijay, so the first thing, I would say the first thing, and, and we'll go through all of these things, is actually the, this first thing which I spoke in one of the videos about the affirmations. You have to do a certain affirmations like a religion. You have to hammer it in your subconsciousness. You have to do it so much so that your subconsciousness rewrites the belief about poverty into the belief about prosperity. Once you have this right program, the right belief in your subconsciousness recorded, then things will start going well. And so I will read you, VJ, a few affirmations which I would suggest you record, or otherwise I can actually record it for you, and then you can do many things with them. But let's read, and I'll, I'll go through what we can do with them and how we can use them. But these are the affirmations which I would suggest you use all of them, not just one. And so, so the first one, I am always at the right place at the right time. I say the right thing at the right time in the best possible way. You see, you really need to have this program so that you are actually at the right time, at the right place. You say the right things at the right time. And as we spoke in the past in the videos, once you have these things as the program in your subconsciousness, this will be doing uh, things for you. This will be on your side. It will be like stacking decks of your life in your favor. Okay, Vijay, so we got this. I am always at the right place at the right time. I say the right thing at the right time in the best possible way. The next affirmation, and we, when you record or when I will record it for you, I will read all of these affirmations one by one because we will be using it as a as a commentary. It will be like a commentary which we can play and replay every day when we go to bed, when we wake up, etc. etc. So the second affirmation is very very important. I create an energy field around me that transforms all non-beneficial energy into the most appropriate energy needed at the time. I mean, these are the same affirmations I already spoke in the video about the affirmations, but this is a specific video about health, wealth and, and prosperity. And we will use these affirmations specifically to change the subconscious programming so that we get the programming done for the belief in prosperity. Now, the third one, this is the key. This is really like the anchor of all these affirmations in this, this area. I attract to me people, events and energy to enhance prosperity and fun. I deserve prosperity and fun. Vijay, did you hear this? This is really, really important that your subconsciousness should really get it that you deserve prosperity and fun. So this affirmation is definitely should be part of the sequence of the this commentary. And another one, I understand my life purposes. I have knowledge and ability to fulfill them. You see, you even might you might not even know what you want in life exactly and where to go, how to what job really you want. You might have some qualifications. But if you practice this and include this affirmation in this sequence of the prosperity commentary, it will help to open up from your, your, your right things. You want to go at the, the right, uh, you know, the gold rush, you know, like you, you will go to the right place, the right job, what is most suitable for you. 
and the next one is actually also I will include this one I have enough time to do everything I need and choose to do and do it well with time to spare so we will include this affirmation in this prosperity commentary uh, sequence of affirmations and the last one which we will use is I repel all people events and energies that are harmful to me I repel all people events and energies that are harmful to me so basically anything which is against your subconscious belief uh, to achieve prosperity in life will be repelled it will not come near you so so VJ um, so I read these few affirmations if you want you can record yourself you read one by one slowly and record as one affirmation as one commentary or I will do it for you and I will send it to you at the end of this um, of the all these affirmations I would suggest you record or add as a one big track a song by CC Catch Heaven and Hell and I, I will tell you why this song is very very powerful it sounds just like some kind of a pop song from 80s but this music has actually encoded energy of the frequency 432 which is very very powerful energetic uh, wavelength to actually help you maintain high energy high enthusiasm and uh, joy because you see anything to achieve in life you need to have high energy if you are pessimistic and you don't believe in these things there is no way for your subconsciousness to actually you know believe that you know VJ wants to have a new belief no you need to have a high energy very powerful and this song will also I will ask you also to dance every day you can play it that's why I'm saying when you play this uh, track it will have these affirmations and this song at the end and you put it on a replay you just play it whenever you are in a car driving you can put it uh, on, on your you know CD player to play or you're walking in the street you can just play it in your head and one of the main times when you really have to play this in on a replay is when you go to bed so when you go to bed you put it on a mobile phone or on an mp3 player with a little speaker and you put it on a timer sleep timer most most gadgets nowadays will have such a thing put it for 70 80 minutes and let it play on the level of the sound which doesn't disturb you but when you fall asleep and you start sleeping the first one hour or so this these affirmations will be also going you know the hearing we even when you are falling asleep when you are not conscious anymore your hearing is still uh, quite quite alert and it will it will go inside your subconsciousness so so that's why VJ these affirmations are crucial and you have to do it as I said religiously this has to be like your daily thing you have to have it on your phone uh, or on your mp3 player and it has to be playing all the time whenever you have free time whatever you're doing whatever you're if you're shaving have it in your bathroom little uh, speaker with a with a player and put it on while you're having being in a shower you see you can use any time so this will help to brainwash your wrong programs you know we are brainwashed with the with the consciousness and subconscious beliefs about poverty we need to change that we need to have the prosperity so that's why also do not speak about things you don't want in life do not speak about your problems and your material uh, prosperity issues to other people because you don't want anyone to create any mental pictures picturizing you as a poor VJ you don't want that you want pictures of wealth and prosperity and the main creator for this is you so this is why you know Albert Einstein uh, said that imagination is more important than knowledge we do need knowledge but the imagination in this 
energy work is crucial. It's really one of the main main things to have success in this. So, so okay, so this is the first thing. Now, the second thing, VJ, which again I already told you, but I will go through it again. Every morning and every evening, you have to put your prosperity, your body, your life, your relationships, your job, you, which, which you can include all of these things, and with your intent, you thank the spirit of gratitude and the spirit of prosperity for putting all these uh, things on the ideal frequency. You see, every single thing in this world has a certain frequency, and there is an ideal frequency for every single thing, like prosperity has frequency 8. And most of the people, especially if you are struggling with uh, in this area, your, your frequency will be uh, somewhere else. And you know, if it's uh, somewhere around uh, 20, which is uh, where, where uh, 6 o'clock uh, on the clock is, if, if it's around 20, then the most people will never make any money. But remember that prosperity is not just money. So that we really need to keep in mind. And that's why I will go through a few other things. Prosperity is not just money. Prosperity is more than that. You know, there are many miserable people with lots of money. Many. Most people who are celebrities, who have millions in their bank accounts, they are quite miserable. Very few. Because if you want real prosperity, it means also happiness, good relationships, harmony, joy, you see, it's, it's a much more, and it doesn't mean a lot of money. It mean, prosperity means enough money and to have your life really prosperous, abundantly happy. So, so that's the second thing, Vijay. You have to remember every morning and every evening, and you have to be really religious with this thing. That you, with your intent, and I hope you're getting it, with your intention, with your intent, you just thank the spirit of gratitude and the spirit of prosperity for putting your prosperity, your life, your body, your family, your relationships, your job, your boss, you can include what, whatever you want. Thank for putting it on the ideal right frequency. If you are a dowser and if you learn to do dowsing, you can use the pendulum and you can do that uh, as well. But uh, that's another thing. It's actually just enough with your intent. If you put your life and all these things on the ideal frequency, that will be helping to the reprogramming of your subconscious belief about the poverty, which most like that's what you are having right now subconsciously. The third thing is, which again I spoke, there was a video about thanking for what you want in life. So this is again, you have to do this religiously. Every morning and every evening, you have to thank the spirit of gratitude and the spirit of prosperity for all the abundant and wealth you are having in life. Remember, you have to thank as if you the as if you already have these things you might not have you might not you, you might your bank account might be you know empty and you might be struggling to get even you know uh, food some vegetables for for your meals but you have to thank every morning and every evening the spirit of gratitude and the spirit of prosperity for giving you this amazing abundant prosperity and wealth you got it so the more you think and thank for what you have, it's, you're saying that you already have it. It means it will be coming to you. But if you are uh, asking for something, that's the wrong thing. When people ask for something, oh, give me this God, give me health or give me wealth. It means you are saying, I am poor and miserable. I have nothing. That means you will get more misery and more poverty. But you have to thank that as if you have for whatever you want in life. 
So I, I hope you got, so this is the third aspect you have to do. Then there is another aspect which is a little bit maybe not that much about um, this energy from this point of view, but there are things from point of view of Feng Shu, and that's a Chinese ancient art, and I would really like you to include these things in your routine, and, and, and don't be, don't get worried if you can't do it perfectly, everything, but as much as you can, and I will say what to do. Number one, check your whole home for broken things. Check if you are keeping broken mug, maybe you're drinking or eating a plate which has a, a chip. Chuck all these things. Anything broken in your home, in your life, they are not a very good symbolically, it's, it's a sign of poverty. And many people think, oh, I just need to keep this just in case because I don't have anything else. No. Do not keep any broken things in your home, in your life. So that's number one. Uh, number two. Actually, I mean, there are many uh, points, but actually one of the very interesting things is create a an, an very abundant front door. You know, um, your home... The entrance of your home is really, that's, it carries a lot of energy. And if your door is dirty, maybe not painted, it might have flaking paint, uh, maybe dust. And, and, in, and in India, obviously, you know, the weather is quite tricky sometimes and it could be a lot of dust in Bombay. But make sure that your front door is nicely painted, always clean, washed. If you have a number plate, it shouldn't be uh, stained, you know, it should be shining. You understand? And if you have a number, uh, like if you have your house or flat is, let's say, 85, then the 5 should be slightly above the 8, so that the energy is going upwards. Don't ever put the number plate so that, you know, the, the, the second digit or third digits are going downwards. You don't want any energy going downwards. You only want to have energy go upwards. So that's very important. Another very interesting thing which I really would ask you to do in your house, in your home, a flat or a house, very, very important area is your toilet. Toilet should be always spotlessly clean. And the lid of the toilet seat should always be down. Do not ever leave the toilet seat open because that's in Feng Shu. It's energetically, it's very, very symbolic that you are actually uh, flushing all the wealth down the toilet drain. So that's why the seat should always be uh, down. And the toilet should be always clean, the floor, all the corners. But another very, very interesting thing about uh, attracting wealth in your life, which is in some ways it is actually energetic, is the, the places where you have like the exhaust fans, you know, like the fans or... Uh, going in your bathroom, uh, air grills, these things are the places where people normally don't clean. You know, even if you clean the whole house, quite often we don't clean these uh, areas. And it's very important that there is no dust and no rubbish accumulated in these air vents. So make sure that all these things are in a, in a good, clean shape and nothing broken. And in general, please make sure that your house is in a very, very clean, uh, orderly state. But again, don't sweat and don't be worried if you know you're not perfect, but do it as much as you can. And that will, again, it will, it will help and it will add to the, uh, this energy of prosperity. You can uh, decorate your home with plants. Plants are very good, but plants, again, they have to be healthy. You, you shouldn't have any plants which are wilting and with broken brown leaves, you know, dying plants, because that's again, that will be a symbolic of poverty. If something is dying, the energy of, of death is not the energy of uh, abundance and prosperity. So you have to be really make sure that you have nice plants in your home and they are all healthy and happy. Uh, you can also place 
citrine crystals. Uh, you can get them somewhere in crystal shops or online. Place some of these citrine crystals in your window sills. They will also have like symbolic energy of, of prosperity. You can put few Chinese coins in your purse. It's small things, but it actually all adds to this whole consciousness and energy of prosperity. Uh, if you want, if you have, you can invest in a fish aquarium. That's also a very, very good energy to attract prosperity. And uh, also there is a wealth ways, which uh, in Chinese Feng Shui they use to attract the prosperity. Uh, but it's up to you. But actually the main things about your home, as I said, the front door is really important to be clean and, and very uh, nicely painted and, and sort of in a, in a top position, spot, uh, top uh, quality. And uh, cleanliness of your home in general. Now, for your body, always be quite neat and tight tidy you know don't have your uh, hair you know all over the place have it nice uh, haircut uh, your nails should always be nicely uh, cut and toenails the same you see all these small things are quite uh, symbolically energetically linked uh, all your clothes make sure they're always nice and neat and clean and uh, so your look uh, neat and clean and tidy it's very very important shoes if you wear like you know some uh, normal shoes make sure they are always shining and clean you see uh, that's again shoes is a big if you have dirty shoes you know it will never attract if you go to find a job uh, they won't give you a good job if they see your shoes are dirty and if your clothes are not uh, neat and clean and accurate so these things you really have to make sure, and it's maybe not linked directly with this uh, mental stuff, but it will add, I tell you, it will add to this whole uh, prosperity, abundant uh, way of feeling. Your car, make sure your car is clean inside. No rubbish flying around, papers from, you know, a few years ago, somewhere tucked in, in the, uh, that glove compartment, etc., etc., Make sure you also clean your car and it's also clean from outside. Your tires and your tire, uh, you know, the rims, everything. Make sure these things are clean. It will attract and will be more and you will actually have more self-esteem if these things in your life are in a very, very good, good quality. And so another little thing which actually Vijay I want to give you, uh, and it seems maybe not completely linked with prosperity, but do some exercise make sure you are doing some running i'm personally swimming every day in the sea uh, occasionally i do running uh, you can do cycling whatever but you you should make sure that you're you actually make some exercise in life and every day and you will feel it will also boost the whole energy and uh, the the whole aura of your prosperity will be increasing you will feel how you you will be changing and uh, even the way you walk do not ever walk uh, sort of uh, like you know as if you are an old man always walk very straight head up uh, that's very very important because if you want prosperity in life you will never attract prosperity if you are walking, you know, as if, you know, you, 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 know, you lost your dog yesterday. You have to be really sort of straight, uh, straight look in the eyes of people and uh, neatly dressed, clean and do all the things about the, the energies we spoke at the beginning. I, I will give you guarantee that you will be attracting good prosperity. You will have a good job and... Uh, your life will be really full of fun and, and joy. So VJ, these were the few things I wanted to share with you. I hope it's useful and it's useful maybe for someone else who might be, and, and most people who are struggling with uh, prosperity will have some kind of subconscious belief about poverty. Uh, they will believe in poverty rather than in prosperity. 
and uh, we can change and I said these things are very important even these things about the external things if you do all this in complex there is no way for the change not to happen so all the best to everyone and uh, keep uh, sort of spirits up VJ and uh, give me a buzz or a message if you need any more clarification about anything I'm more than happy to help you and we help each other you know you know I want you to be successful because my success depends if you are successful it means we, we both win it's a win-win situation okay all the best cheers bye VJ keep in touch